squeeze but there we have it it's in the shed um, took off the side panels if you look carefully there there's a little bit of rust it's just just a bit more fun um, so I'm gonna make a start on this now I'm gonna get this uh, cut some stuff out anyway and have a look see what um, what I can do I'm gonna have to try and set it up so that that suspension ends up in exactly the same place as it began so we'll take a look at it so i'll go ahead and cut the side panel out now now for anybody doing this kind of work these little uh one mil one mil discs for the four inch grinder they're your friend as well as um the flapper wheels um fantastic for cleaning up stuff polishing up wells and things afterwards. They do a lovely job on it. Um, yeah, they're very useful items. Okay, so I just cut that top piece out there. Um, it's actually spot welded to that all the way across. Um, found some, didn't see others. Like there's one there, there's one right next to it as well. Same there, they both have one right next to them. Um, I don't think this section here comes with my replacement panel. It might include this bit, but I need to keep this. But as you can see, it needs repairs anyway. So for the time being, I'm just gonna cut it out. Um, I'm really just cutting this quarter out now so it's out of the way to do the bottom repair um, and it, it's going to have to be done so uh, may as well just get it out of the way. So I'll cut that off and then I'll get into cutting that wheel arch and starting to look at this bottom piece. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so that's the outside um, layer cut out. That's actually quite heavy stuff. Um, I've cut the bolt out and I've measured from the center of that bolt hole to a straight edge on that line and from the top of the gully that holds this down to the center of the hole here as well so that I have a reference point for that to end up because that is critical. Um, I think the plan now is probably to cut out the back side inside here um, and then replace that um, possibly the inside but then because at some point I want to get the new one of these in place with maybe the back layer and this layer on and this can be done afterwards and then I can do the outrigger on the inside as well um, it's a lot of layers of stuff there which is fairly daunting um, but I'm used enough to cutting into these things but if you were thinking about it yourself I've seen them I've seen videos of them gone and things and um, it's probably as tough as work on these will get so I'll carry on now that's all cut out and um, so much happier with that now that you can see it back to all decent metal everywhere um, I actually hacked it out with a little plasma cutter and I actually got it to do this job and I'm very pleased with it. Um, only a cheap one but it's um, it made that so much easier. Um, there is the old spring hanger, no, not spring hanger but uh, suspension mount. Um, yeah, and nice new one to be welded in place. So, essentially now, just to uh, fill all that, build all that metal back out around it, and weld it to it. Same with the outrigger on the inside, and then this piece down after. There's also a top to go on it. Um, I'll have to get the swing arm out of there at some point, um, so I can do the plate on the inside there as well, but um, I won't worry about that just yet. Gone over it all there now with the flapper wheel, just giving it a clean up, cut out some rust holes that um, need seeing to. I've cleaned up this um, because I'm pretty sure the panel that comes has a kind of a fault seam in it so that you need a way of connecting it and so I might end up cutting this off but I, I'll do it in small sections so I weld in pieces with a tab to hold a new arch um, so I'm going to leave as much as that as I can for the time being um, and again that's all got that cleaned up cut back a little bit more in places and I'm going to make some little cardboard templates and uh, start cutting some stuff for that Time to do some welding. Okay, so I have that new spring hanger completely welded now to the repair piece and got it set up in the right place and stuff. So now I'm going to tack that back in and uh, I can weld all that in before tacking the outrigger on the back.
Okay, so that's that welded in there. I'm um, going to clean that up a little bit now and uh, get the outer layer put on. The back in there and the outrigger on the inside I'll do afterwards once it's all fixed in place. Right, so that's kind of phase one of that repair done. Um, it's actually solid now, the van could sit on it. Um, I do have it blocked up underneath on the chassis rails. Um, yeah, as you can see now, this I'm going to leave in here for now and the back of this weld until I'm working on that. <clears throat> Just because I've got to get the swing arm out the way for that and I don't want to get stuck into that now. Um, what I'm going to try and do now is the underside, and I'll show you that. It's uh, the outrigger. So that's the outrigger there. Um, so I've just got to fill in that section there and underneath. Um, and the other side of that is actually the inside of the wheel arch. Um, there are the backs of all the other welds there now. Uh, same procedure, not going to film it under here, too awkward. So there's the bottom of the sill, um, the end of the outrigger welded in, and just got the back side of it left to do now. Uh, got the bottom of that um, pillar welded in, or post. Um, got all that cleaned up, bit up there as well done. Um, not the prettiest things in the world, but at least they're good and strong. And, um, they'll be fine when they're all paddled over and everything. Right. Well, I think I've done enough for today. It's not that these things take so long to do. Um, I can only mentally stick with it for so long on a day. Um, that's one next job now will be to hack out the other side and uh, do the same again. Uh, after that, I'm going to go around and do everything I can before buying panels so I'll do all the little bits of patchwork and stuff that I can do with um, what I've got and get panels ordered in and be getting ready to put both. hope you're enjoying the videos um, I'll keep them coming as often as possible uh, hoping to get maybe one in each week for a while um, depends on how much I can get done uh, but so if this is the kind of thing you'd like to watch, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll keep at it. Okay, cheers.